Hi, I'm Ryan, and welcome to another Game Heart review. Today we'll be taking a look at Streets of Rage 4, which is the newest release in the Streets of Rage franchise, a franchise which previously hadn't received a new game in 26 long years. Despite this hiatus, the story does follow from the previous games, where a new villain emerges after your team thwarted the old one. Now, don't be too afraid if you're not familiar with the story, because this one does stay in the present for the most part, with just a few small throwbacks to the past for those classic fans. Streets of Rage 4 is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, much like its predecessors. In fact, it's a faithful recreation of those old games, with modern changes, but it still uses the same enemies and the same main characters, even the same movesets. Streets of Rage 4 does come with 4 player local co-op out of the box and 2 player online co-op. But you do have to be aware that there is team damage, so make sure to be careful of your friends because we don't want to be breaking any friendships along with their arms. There are 4 playable characters in the game from the get-go and 13 more to unlock. One modern character and 12 classic characters from previous Streets of Rage games. With that out of the way, let's talk about how the game plays. The combat in Streets of Rage 4 appears deceptively simple, but despite there only being one primary attack button, there are so many moves that can be done when combining this with other inputs and different situations. This allows you to always perform the right moves at the right time and do exactly what you need. In addition to the primary attack button, there's a special attack, but this one does drain health, so you do need to use it more liberally. Thankfully, one of the modern changes in Streets of Rage 4 is that the health drain is only temporary. If you hit enemies, you gain that health back, so if you use that attack in the right situation, you can actually prevent damage or open up combos that allow you to hit enemies and gain that health back immediately. This new change allows for so many more options for play, and it really is a great way to modernise the series. In addition to the combat, the art style in Streets of Rage 4 is absolutely fantastic. I don't know who the art director was, but they did a fantastic job. Each character and environment is detailed lovingly, and the animations are beautiful. Not only that, but there's an immense attention to detail that I really loved about the game. For example, if you walk under a light, there's a highlight that applies to your character, at first it will be in front of them, but as you move under it, it will move over to the top of them and then around to the back. It looks incredible on 2D sprites, and I'm really not sure how they pulled the effect off, but it is really impressive in so many situations in the game, and every time it came up, I was just blown away. Not only this, but the animations have motion blur actually drawn into them, and this new look, it just, it looks incredible, and seeing it in action is fantastic too. Finally, some of the animations actually play slower if you're picking up a heavy enemy, for example. This slow animation really makes it feel like the enemy has weight, and thankfully there's also invincibility frames when you're picking them up, so it doesn't actually affect the gameplay, well, Except for positively, really. It only benefits the player, so it's never a disadvantage. The soundtrack in Streets of Rage 4 is also incredible. There's one composer for all of the main levels, and then guest artists have come in to do the boss themes. These songs all sound cohesive, as if they were written by one artist despite being from so many different minds, and it works fantastically. And great note as well is that many of the guest artists are composers from the previous Streets of Rage games, so the feel is just on point for those classic games. Now, if that's not enough for you, you can also enable a retro soundtrack option, where songs from Streets of Rage 1 and 2 have been placed in the new game, and they fit really, really well, which is a testament probably to how well they've recreated the Streets of Rage feel in this game. Of the two, I would actually say that I prefer the new soundtrack though. It is dynamic and it actually feels alive as the song changes as you go throughout various parts of the level depending on which enemies you're fighting and what situation you're in. This brings you into the action and it's a fantastic touch that I really, really enjoyed. The sound effects are also amazing, with the hits, the punches, you know, using weapons, all of it sounds fantastic but I did have one small complaint. Some of the voices just aren't quite right. For example, Blaze, one of the main characters, has a 
English sounding voice, it's a little high pitched, but it works perfectly fine for the character on the character select screen. When you're in combat though, uh, it sounds a little weird. Take a listen. It's not just me, right? Something is not right there. I'm assuming that it's a bug and it's a different language voice actor in the game, but I'm really not too sure as it hasn't been patched out yet. One of the other issues was that some of the female characters were actually using male voice lines. Now I gave this a play again before recording this review, and that has actually been patched out now, so you may notice some inconsistent voice lines with some of the enemies in my videos that are no longer present in the game. Thankfully, it was really distracting and it was one of the only negatives that I had with this game. Take a listen to the game in play, it's really, really good. In Streets of Rage 4, they do force you to play through the story mode first. The story mode does provide you with continues and assists if you do run out of lives, but that's not where the main challenge is. Story mode is designed to get you through the game for even the most casual player, although if you're a sadist you can up the difficulty and make it impossible. I don't know how people get through this game in high difficulties, I can't do it, I can barely get through it in normal. Once you do beat the story though, you unlock arcade mode, which gives you 5 lives and no continues to beat the entire game. It is a real challenge for me. Like, real hard. It took me so many tries before I was able to get it. Not only that, I was playing in normal. There are three difficulties above normal. So if you're really looking for a challenge or if you're a veteran to these types of games, let me tell you, there's something for you here. Not only do you unlock arcade mode after beating the story, but you also unlock boss rush, which gives you one life to go through all of the bosses simultaneously. Thankfully, when you do beat a boss, they drop food, so you know, you don't have to get through with one health bar, but it is still an immense challenge, and again, it took me hours and hours of play before I was able to beat this mode with my best character. With everything said and done, I'm giving Streets of Rage 4 a 9 out of 10 for its bold art, incredible soundtrack, and excellent gameplay. For a side-scrolling beat-em-up, a genre which rarely isn't touched that much these days, it is near perfect and it's a fantastic way to revitalise the genre. Even if you're not a fan, if you like the look of what you're seeing in this video, you should check the game out, it is a blast to play. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, or leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Until next time, have a good one.